Hi, here in this video I will share a very interesting chess game. Um, so there are many sacrifices and accuracy seems not bad, like 82% for me and 86 for my opponent. So just ignore the opening mistakes of me. Knight, after knight c6 he can play d5, it's not good, I know that, but I just played it instinctively and fast. Takes, takes, and knight c3 and queen f6 <clears throat> and I know I know that queen f6 is not the best move so but in case he plays this I will just take it so this is my first sacrifice I know it is blunder but I just wanted to play so this is my first sacrifice <clears throat> and bishop d2 so d6 is for let, letting my bishop to play, but it is dangerous because of allowing queen to check and take, so that's why a5, uh, g3, and bishop e6, queen c2, and white is winning after the sacrifice, white is quite winning, this is not really the best opening, isn't it? And uh, the, after castling, I felt the king is not in bad best position because is sort of open like to attack and this a file is not very safe but if he castles this side then the problem will be fixed i probably have to it's better to castle this side probably and bishop g2 so that after those you know we will see that my king will be attacked multiple times uh, rook e8 castle so here this is inaccuracy I don't know why I take this knight I have no idea so the idea is I was thinking I wanted to attack this so the, the tactic is like that I will play here I will play somewhere else and I will take this first and then take this knight so it's a free knight so then I will the game will be equal um, h5, queen h5, knight f4, <coughs> queen h6, and rook c1, uh, knight g4. So there is also checkmate. So there is also greed tactic here. So and then it's checkmate. So but now I'm trading for checkmate. So he has to do something, and I think this is the best move if we played this. I have to give up on my piece, I guess, because he can take this. <clears throat> so I will. I don't want to lose my queen. I have to play something like that. But after he takes and I play here, maybe I will have some uh, some. Still, I can play the game, but I will feel very desperate. <clears throat> and he played bishop h h3 instead, and I, I felt happy. But the engine still thinks that he's winning badly. And I played this rook after thinking some time. How many? I, I, I think to, uh, I spent 30 seconds. And I only have 21 seconds and he has like two, two minutes. Um, and then he take the free piece. And I felt not good because materially I'm losing badly. And uh, b6 sort of. I didn't see big b6 is like a giving free piece, but the funny thing is b6 is not considered inaccuracy, mistake, or blunder. I don't know why. So because I, so because he can take this, so that's why I, I don't know. After that, it takes, and so why this is not a. So I don't. I have no idea. I don't get it. So maybe engines has some problems. Maybe there's no better. Better move, uh, and he played a3. It's like a waste of move. <clears throat> so, and I decided to sacrifice second time. So this is my second sacrifice in this game. So another knight sacrifice, and still, uh, you know, my idea is after the knight sacrifice, I will play like g5, and he cannot play it somewhere else. After g5, he will play something like this, and then I will take this bishop. But I, I see that I realize that <coughs> he could take he doesn't have to go back he can take the bishop so 
it's not very useful uh, sacrifice. So now it's like a minus nine. I'm losing badly again. And he played the queen f5, and I doubled the rook. And uh, there are some, so if I were him, I would just take this one and then take, take, and then he can checkmate, I guess, from this position. But this is not really according to engine like that. So there is that pin, so that's why I cannot play. And I was planning to play like queen, king b7, and there's no pin. <coughs> but this is not check. So after this, uh, and also there are some tactics going on here. So maybe you can checkmate. I was afraid. So instead I played this move, and it seems an accuracy. I'm still losing badly, I guess, but this is like a minus seven now. And I play queen h5. For some reasons, so because he's attacking my queen, and I have to, there's no better piece place for this, and I want to play actively, so he cannot move his bishop somewhere else. So like here, and I will, yeah, maybe he can play, but I don't know. And my plan is now to take his uh, rook, and I, I still think that he can just sacrifice anytime, but he doesn't want to. <coughs> And Andrew recommends me to take it and then take the other rooks. So, but I still lose if I do this. I played queen g6. And after this, I feel the game is simplified, simple, easy. And still, he's winning badly, plus 9. But now he's in time trouble. So, and I have like 7 seconds. I played, I, I think, like 1 second to play. So, and my. It's not sacrifice, right? It's a free piece, yeah. And then he's still up a rook, you know? And this is my third sacrifice. I, I sacrificed rook again, and uh, <clears throat> after that I was playing very fast because I think he, he doesn't, his internet is not good, maybe. Let's see, his internet is good. His internet is good. And he, he was thinking a lot, and then I won, so I won by time, so he lost by time. But that's why, so I sacrificed piece three times, but somehow. I won the game, so engine thinks I'm losing somehow, but I don't know what I could do. So maybe at some point, um, so here, <clears throat> after taking the bishop, I could play something else instead of, uh, but there's no, it's not sacrifice actually, I guess. So there's no other choice. So uh, maybe I could check, maybe, I don't know. Play, yeah, so this is, this is sort of a, best move i guess so anyway thanks for watching this video and if you like this video you can subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video